Hello Aries, welcome back to There's That Tarot. Welcome to your May 2023 reading. Uh, Aries, for the most part, I see sunshine, rejuvenation. You're going to be reaping the reward of whatever you've been doing. <laughs> but for me, it feels, it feels positive. So a lot of you may have been planting a lot of positive seeds lately. Um, Ace of Pentacles. I'm just saying like, okay. I don't know if this is somebody watching, watching you unlock this new chapter of your life. I don't know if this is a offer that's coming towards you that you're kind of questioning. Maybe you have questions about it, but I see you juiced. I see you like practicing gratitude. A lot of you may be more health conscious and just more unapologetically you. Um, I'm also getting somebody who may have not appreciated you or maybe you felt unappreciated in some aspect or by someone in your life. Something you're going to do this month is going to leave a lot of people or someone in particular very confused. I think you're waiting. Wow. All right. <laughs> First of all, money. There is an offer that you're going to love that comes through this month. You're going to love this. It is going to, it's like you're unlocking this new, maybe some of you have found a new way to make money. Um, it's like something that you have cooked up, strategized, it's going to pay off. I'm not even at the career reading yet. Um, for me, but there may be somebody who's watching you. They're waiting patiently, or this is something that you studied. You were patient. You, you know, you knew that the right path wasn't going to be overnight. Like the thing, it's like you found the perfect wave and it's paying off in the month of May. I don't know what, what else to say. It's like you, you, you took the time to plan and strategize. You did things the right way is what I'm seeing. You, there's something here that you did. You let go of what needed to be let go of. You found, you found the perfect wave. And it's paying off for you. And this is a you thing, Aries. This is, I don't see anybody else here. So that's a good start to the month. Um, one of the, I guess, larger messages or something that's standing out for you in the month of May. Uh, the first card was the Emperor in the reverse, the Justice in the reverse, the Lovers in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. You're going to realize something. Is this you? This emperor is not you. This is somebody who's not only controlling, but also codependent. And I'm not sure if it's... Oh, is it... Aries. You're going to realize something in May about somebody... Mm somebody in your life this this is not you the moon in the reverse the nine of pentacles in the reverse clarified by the nine of cups in the reverse all this clarifying the emperor in the reverse this person could be controlling they lack accountability there's always somebody there to fix it or to do something like the, the 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 nine of cups and the nine of pentacles in reverse is not no it's like a child this is like somebody who doesn't know yet but i just got a feeling that this is not a child this has codependency written all over it and so the world the world card speaks of endings, turning the page, closing out a cycle because the justice in the reverse says 
Even if you went back, something still ain't right. Something's still not done. Something's still not fair. This could have been somebody who wronged you. Libra, Aries energy, King of Wands, Aries Leo, Sag. Nine of Swords in the reverse. What's the other nine that we need? Nine of Wands in the reverse. And we got all the nines. This is somebody who's going... It's like... This is, could be you going back to the situation. This is King of Wands. Is this you? No. This is somebody else that is stuck. And it's like... Things in this person's life may not be growing the, with the Empress in the reverse. This could also talk about um, someone. I don't know if this is a person. Is this a person? I feel like it's a feeling that somebody has or the way the Empress in the reverse just talks. This could be a lack mindset. This could be, I don't know, the Empress in the reverse is like the Empress is having the have and the have nots is what I'm what I'm getting. The Empress in the reverse would be the have nots. But the have it's like something about not having. There's a reason why. Why is this here? Something's clear. Somebody not doing the work. The haves did the work. The have not didn't do the work. And that's that's what this is. And so it's like, how is that my fault? Something like that is here. I don't know whether or not this work is internal or what it is, but the lovers is in the reverse. The justice is in the reverse twice here. It just landed right next to each other. The justice is in the reverse twice. I was clarifying the lovers in the reverse. The justice in the reverse came out twice, chariot in the reverse. Do not go. No pain, no gain. That is the overall, I don't know if this is a relationship for you, Aries, or what this is. No pain, no gain. You, you, you can't, if you can't pay the, the, if you're not this tall, you can't ride. If you're not, if you don't have the money to pay, get on the ride, you can't go. You're not going to walk out of the Gucci store with that bag and you ain't pay for it. I don't know. Somebody got to do the work. Be careful of nut allergies or something like that. Ask questions if you're going out to eat, something like that. May, you may need to ask or the person with you or be sure. I don't know if you're cooking for somebody. All right. Or somebody with a nut allergy. That could be something. Could be of significance. Could be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. Maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while. Or this could be the allergent. <laughs> The Emperor in the Reverse, eight of, you gonna end up stop talking to somebody. I don't know. They, them, you, that, you, them. Somebody getting getting put on the chopping block. Something here is not it. It's it's, it's a big thing, Aries. As far as your career, the end of the month could be significant. The end of May. It could be somebody gonna have some. I don't know what it is. Is this you? It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. As far as your career, somebody could fall ill. I'm hearing man or woman. Oh, they could be like a reverse. Something could get reversed in the month of May. Like... If one person was taking care of one person, then it, it switches. Somebody's going to realize who the problem was. And uh, it's like a decision is going to be made. Somebody may be getting let go of because somebody's going to see that... you. I don't know. It's like if somebody is disingenuous about money... Um, 
I don't know what they actually had to bring to the table. This is like lying on your application or something like that. Or somebody who is supposed to be fit for a job. And they end up getting found out. Somebody did something shysty on a job. I don't know what this is. But it, there could be a fight that could end up revealing something. Ooh. And somebody's going to... I feel like this benefits you though, Aries. They're going to see how you were done wrong in a situation. Yep. Just in reverse as soon as I said that. Possibly even like money. Like, or if you got fired from something, I'm telling you, something's, you're going to be vindicated in the month of May for something. This is something that's going to come back around to you as a chance. Uh, opportunity that you may have felt like you missed. There could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn connected to this, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or maybe perhaps this is because you're showing up as the King of Cups here. You struggled with something. It's like something didn't feel like you really had closure with it. It felt unrequited to you. But it, it, I feel like it brought a lot of happiness also. Or perhaps it, it helped you to realize. That your happiness, your prosperity, your abundance, your success was going to come from somewhere else. Or it pushed you to put more of your energy in that direction. But something about it was never closed out. You may see something come about with that within the month of May. Something's going to come back around. It could have something to do with someone falling ill. Unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Um, when this does come back around, this reminds me of one of my first, well, shoot, my first headline performance. I didn't have a whole lot of experience and this may not be the case with you because with you, I feel like you weren't, you did a good job with whatever this was. I feel like that's what this is, but I, I did the show. I, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of experience then. The guy said, you know, he patted me on the back at the end of the show. Come back when you have more experience. You look great, but you're not talking to the people, blah, blah, blah. It was very harsh, <laughs> you know, but it was what I needed. And so then I'm seeing you. You move towards this, you know, unorthodox way of doing things. This, this brings you some truth and clarity. You find success elsewhere. The opportunity wraps back around. Now you're not available because when he... When he, you know, came back around to offer me the opportunity, I wasn't available. I was booked. The experience had been had. You know what I'm saying? So this could be something like that for you, too. So by the time something that you felt like wasn't quite closed out wraps back around, you could have been unmoved on. Already. So that could be something around the end of the month. And you could be the, the ball. I feel like the ball is going to be in your court by then. So... As far as your love life is concerned for the month of May, Aries, I don't know if it's, I don't know why I just sucked my teeth. I don't know if it's that you, we don't, we don't even talk anymore. Da, 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 da. Let's not wait till the water runs dry and make the biggest mistake of our life as well here. Well, it's heart to heart in the reverse. Well, well, is this you? Yeah, you may be ending something. You may be letting something go because heart to heart conversations is in the reverse. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Either this wasn't happening in the connection or was it? It was, but it's kind of like it's hard to it's, it's hard to tell you how I feel when why why the five of cups? It's like you're already sad. I can see that you're already upset or something like that is this even have anything to do with you no the thing about it is this person was already this person is still looking back at something else so it's like me opening up you they whatever oh whoever's on this side whoever's letting go of the relationship i'll say that this person pouring their heart out means nothing if you know there's some there's some kind of connection there it's like somebody looking back at something else then me pouring my heart out to you it's like you can't even hear me 
you know what I mean? So I'm seeing you kind of like pour out this glass of, of, of love or water that you had in the glass and use your mind and put some champagne in this new glass and put your dress on and go get you a uh, animal or something. Somebody's gonna be loyal to you and go travel somewhere. <laughs> what this look like it looks like she was like you know what damn this cup of love you know she she puts the cup down she picks up her sword she uses her mind okay because her her, her heart was what, what what was this ace of cups at the bottom what is this three cups at the bottom it could have been a third party situation and i feel like it's like i'm Either this is like, I'm not going to reconcile with this energy. You're not telling me everything. That could be why heart-to-heart -heart conversations is in the reverse. Yes, the King of Cups is here. But the King of Cups is holding back because the King of Cups looks like they're sad about something else. With the Four of Cups and the Devil, somebody's stuck somewhere else. It's like, you could be sending this person a message. Like, new message there on the, on the computer screen. This person is drunk. By the time your message comes through or they're sad or they're in their feelings about something else. And it's like, you're going to realize that Aries. And that's, that's the 10 of swords, the moon in reverse and the 10 of swords. You're going to realize that. And it's, and I feel like that's why this cup is spilled out on the floor right here. So let's see what this ace of swords says. This ace of swords says it's got to be something better than this. I'm keeping myself stuck and this person ain't even stuck on me. You stuck on them and they stuck on something else. Or with or in. Take it how it resonates. So the effort, make the effort is in the reverse. The four of swords, Aries is back in their bathtub. This is you kind of quieting yourself or being quiet and making a decision about somebody that you did do share a, a special connection with, but you know, because there is an emotional attachment on their end. Because the Six of Cups in the reverse is an emotional attachment. And so therefore, you're, you're protecting yourself with the Seven of Wands. And you're not putting yourself in the middle of a, of a, a fight. Is what this looks like. At the bottom of my other deck, it says, say hi. And say hi, I wrote that on this card because um, I was working, I, I told you guys I was working with a comedian last year on tour. And he was telling me that his mother said, um, and it's part of the, like I took it really serious when he said that I actually got a tattoo of it. Say hi means to forgive. When somebody does you wrong, you know, now I'm here and they know not what they do. And this person, whoever this person is, they connected to something else. They stuck, like I said, they stuck somewhere, you stuck on them. Or you about to not be stuck on them no more, something like that. But say hi, it's like when somebody does you wrong, you say hi to them. In other words, you forgive them. Because what else you going to do? Keep yourself stuck like somebody else is doing? I wouldn't recommend it. Anything else? Somebody's got a hell of a poker face, too. And staying stuck doesn't mean... Oh, yeah. Oh, they feel like you can help them change their way. There's somebody that you may be distant from. Somebody may be going through some financial issues, too. You may be the only person that's made this person want to change their toxic ways. Because we got toxic... I feel like it's like a lurky type of energy. Only you can make this person change their ways. Could have been a twin flame type of union. But this person has abusive tendencies. And that's what we're not going to do. So here we go again. Say hi. I just fell out again. This could have been somebody that you met unexpectedly. Trust could have been a big issue here. New love could have been blocked. This person, like roller coaster all over the place. Say hi. She's back. Aries, that's just a little quick preview of, of, your, of your month, okay? I'm going to leave you with this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'll leave you with this, Aries. This month is going to be about you knowing your worth. That's what I'm seeing, you know? And, and it's like you're going to realize your worth and it's going to force you to expand your horizons. 
You're being asked to do that. You live in a huge world with endless possibilities and staying safe is no longer working for you. It's time to make your world just a bit bigger. It's time to imagine the possibilities and go for them. Aries, I'm going to leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.